hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to use storage gateway to make a file share a common file share which you can attach it to windows servers uh, uh, mainly this is for windows environment uh, so the common use case is uh, uh, you have your application accesses a common share across multiple uh, fleet of uh, servers and if your servers are in auto scaling group and whenever the new instance comes up because of auto scaling event uh, you want to attach that uh, share uh, to the windows server so that uh, your application can access that share uh, so i'm going to use uh, aws file gateway uh, and uh, then i'm going to uh, attach it or bootstrap it windows server and use as a smb file share so i'm going to demo that uh, so let's get started uh, first i'll go to aws management console and search for storage gateway and uh, now i'm going to create a storage gateway uh, i will select file gateway and this is the, you can select any uh, any host platform you want uh, for this demo I'm going to select EC2 and uh, for this I don't have a EC2 already so I'm going to launch an EC2 instance so there are some requirement uh, what kind of EC2 instance uh, you can have for uh, file gateway uh, I'm going to select C5 extra large configuration detail make make sure you have a correct vpc another important thing is make sure that auto assign public ip is enabled we need a public ip address so that uh, other uh, servers other windows instances can connect to this uh, um, file share next thing i will do it add storage uh, for file gateway you need additional drive where the files will be hosted and the requirement for that is minimum 150 gig so i'll keep it at minimum and next security group i already have a security group which i am going to use and for this uh, uh, file gateway there is some specific ports you need to open in your security group which is 443 for HTTPS, 80 for HTTP, uh, then 53 for DNS, and then 123 for NTP. Uh, so I have already, and then I'll go review and launch. Mm, I'll select a key pair. I already have a key pair, so I'm going to select that and launch. So this instance is launching. I'll, it will take uh, a minute or so I'll pause the video and come back to it now my instance is running I'll just refresh it I'll go back to storage gateway section uh, here's the set uh, uh, instructions for uh, Amazon EC2 if you want to review it go next I will do a public accessible endpoint now I need the IP address so I will go to EC2 dash console and copy the IP address put the IP address here connect to gateway it connected I'm going to set the time zone to Eastern and gateway name is test file gateway activate get gateway and preparing this is going to go and fetch the additional drive which I added the 150 gig one now disk is ready and it's allocated to cache so click configure logging if you want to create a logging you can create uh, you enable logging you can create a log group or you can log it to an existing log group i will create it to a log group and now my file gateway is getting ready 
now my file gateway is running uh, you can go and check all the details here now after that I'm going to create a file share but before I create a file share I want to enable it for guest login if you have an active directory you can join it to a domain and uh, do a active directory authentication but in my case I'm going to do a guest logins so I am going to create a guest password save it close now I'm going to create a file share and for this purposes I need a s3 bucket where the actual data will be stored so for this I will go to s3 console and create a bucket so it's vk file gateway I'll copy this create a bucket oh, it looks like uh, my bucket is already created so I'll give a new name I'll put the date actually so my bucket is created now I'll go to here I'll I'll give my s3 bucket name and it since I need it on Windows Server it will be a SMB if it is Linux we can use NFS for but because Windows supports only SMB logging if you want to create logs you can create a log group now this is all correct it will create a new IAM role so that file gateway can access the S3 bucket and encryption will go with default S3 managed keys next select authentication method here you have to change it to guest access uh, remember we selected uh, in SMB configuration we change the guest access access so here is we are going to do guest access and create now my file share is up and ready and I'll copy this command this is the command to use to mount it on Windows share uh, and uh, make sure to change the IP address uh, to your relevant one uh, if you are going to use it within VPC then it can be a private IP address otherwise if you are going to use it outside the VPC then it needs to be a public uh, IP address so I will go to my EC2 dashboard and launch a new brand new Windows instance and I will try to bootstrap it so that whenever the instance comes up the share is already mounted I'm going to select Windows I'll go with TT medium right now configuration VPC I'm role and in user data I am going to paste a script which will mount it or which will bootstrap it so in we can have a PowerShell script we can have a normal batch script uh, or it can it can point to a batch file also on the C drive or where, wherever uh, so for, but uh, this is pretty straightforward so I am going to use a batch script and it needs to be enclosed in script tag I'm going to give my username and password and persist means true means during reboot it will maintain it so I'm going to go and next add storage configure security group I already have a security group so I'm going to select that review and launch this is still launching okay so now we see that the server is up and running so we'll go and get Windows password select the 
pem key decrypt the password before that I need to get the IP address also so let me paste it on notepad I'll get the IP address go remote desktop password I selected here it should have bootstrap the uh, gateway file gateway as x drive which is what i mentioned so let's go to windows explorer and if you go here in the server you can see the file gateway is there i'm going to create a new file also and see if it is working so let's say i will create a test document test dot test one dot txt this is test and I'll save it and when I go back to S th S3 this file should have been there in S3 so let me go to the console go to S3 because data is always backed up in S3 and if you go here and you see this test1.txt is already there so this shows you how to use file gateway uh, file storage gateway for windows instances uh, uh, <coughs> and you can use fsx also but uh, for fsx the requirement is to you have a active directory but just in case if you don't have active directory uh, you can use file storage gateway uh, note that that fxs is still a better choice because it gives you high availability across multiple az's uh, but in st file storage gateway you have to take care of uh, high availability and that's all thank you thanks thanks uh, everyone